Let's get back into it. See what's next for Petro's adventure. Thank you for coming, Petro. Word of your triumph reached me some while ago, but I am pleased to have it personally confirmed. First, if written now, Titan, truly, when I think of your achievements, I feel the loss of the Warriors of Light less keenly. And there can be no greater compliment than that. You and your order are heroes. The people of Limsa Laminsa are forever in your debt. I shall relay the details of your report to the Admiral forthwith. Please send my regards to the Shions of the Seventh Dawn. Petra, this has been Philia. Ishtola has informed me of your success. You have won a great victory for the people of Eorzea, one that shall not be forgotten. And what is more, both you and Ishtola emerged from Ogoromoro unscathed. Why, Totoro and the others seemed as glad of that as they did of Titan's fall. You can look forward to a hero's welcome. We'll be awaiting you your return at the Waking Sands. There's much to discuss. Godspeed. I figured. Just go over here, talk to this person, go back to the thing. Why is my touchpad not working? Hello? Touchpad? Touchpad? Oh my god! It happened again! This happened last time, too! My, uh... My button calibration randomly changed. This happened last time, too. That's so weird. This game, man, it's been, uh... For the most part, alright, but... Man, have I had some weird issues with it. Everyone, everyone that I've talked to tells me that this game is like, has no issues. Like, it's like the most well-made MMO ever. But I've had nothing but problems. I shouldn't say nothing but problems, but I've had a lot of problems. <laughs> so I don't know if they're just blind or if they're blind to it because they like it, or they've just gotten lucky, or I'm just unlucky, or what, whatever, but... I am willing to say that it's probably just me being unlucky, but... I don't know. Because when I look up the issues online, I get a lot of threads of people saying, I have this issue, and then people just saying, well, that sucks. Yeah, especially the DirectX thing. Then also with, like, controllers. I tried to look up why my PS4 controller working is literally a flip of the coin. I turn on my PC, and the PS4 controller doesn't work on this game, and then I restart my PC, and it works on this game. And it's just a flip of the coin as to whether or not it works or not that day. And I tried looking that up. Nothing. And that could be just a Windows thing, but I kind of doubt it, because other than that, it works fine. The, the random lag spike thing is most likely a DirectX 9 thing, but that's because I can't do DirectX 11 because it crashes for a reason that no one understands. It seems that a lot of people have the same issue. Where's my hero's welcome? Sounds more like a feature. Uh... We got a code red.
This one is glad, walking one is safe. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Thank heaven she is safe. Louis Soir, do you see? Your light shines brightly in this one, and in time, it will illuminate the realm once more. Oh! I was just saying, we need to meet these characters. Oh, at least we're seeing them in action. We have come for the one who slayed Ifrit and Titan. No, you haven't. You just saw me two seconds ago. You just grabbed us before. Well, actually, I guess this could be a different one. Bring her forth, and you may yet know mercy. I don't think they're working together very well. <laughs> Tataru! Confound it. Stay Everyone's being brutally murdered and you sight. say confound it? I would leave a message with you. I surrender myself on the condition you spare the innocents. Conditions? There speaks the supreme sire. I'll grant you have courage, but you would be better served by armor. Search all you will. The one you seek is not here. So it would seem. And yet you knew to look here. But how? <gasps> Hold that thought. That went well. No! Conditions of surrender. Deny. Cease at once! Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Cabbage fairy blew Have it. Have you not done enough? Blew everything. Perhaps. Enough. We must away. Though we have not found our quarry, the High Priestess of the Scions should suffice for now. They say she also possesses the Echo. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear her scream. I said enough! <laughs> I was gonna say, I still hear someone stabbing in the background. We leave. Bring the prisoners. Walking, walking one Minfilia, ask this one to... In case walking one returned, this one was to say, to say, at church in Eastern Thanalan, walking one must claim sanctuary. This one tried, tried to protect walking one Minfilia from Imperial ones. Why does... Apparently Minfilia, like, is special because she's the only one they actually call by name. Forgive this one. Save.
Single roundhouse kick. All right, well, stuff's happening. I like this. I mean, not the... Not the brutal murders of everyone I know and love, but... The action. The suspense. The chaos. This is Final Fantasy. Uh... Can't drive off. What is that? This church. I said not the killing. I specifically said not the killing. surprised you guys still haven't taken care of that dead body is something troubling you my child you have the look of one who has endured great suffering if there's anything I can do to help anything at all you need only ask forgive me father for I have sinned the wild roses are dead, father. I know not what to do. The wild roses? I see. You may speak freely here. We are all friends of the Sions. How? How could this have happened? And you are certain that Nephilia was among those taken by the Garleans. Is there a bottle of wine just sitting on the... Okay. Let us pray no further harm comes to them. You may stay here for as long as you wish. It is the least I can do for a friend of Menphilia's. I have known her since she was but a child. Well, do I recall the day of our first meeting? I swore them to do everything in my power to support her, and I will gladly offer the selfsame service to her brother and sister scions. So please, no matter what you require, you need not hesitate to ask. Marquis, would you come here for a moment? Yes, father? This dude... If you require assistance, pray speak with Marquis. He is a trifle shy, but I assure you he means well. I should explain. Marquis is a survivor of the Battle of Cartonel. Alas, his experiences took a terrible toll upon his mind. Had we not taken him into our care, he would surely have perished in the desert. Marquis, I want you to look after Petra. Do you understand? Yes, Father. Don't look at me like that. Excuse me, Petra, do you have a moment? It concerns this broken horloge, which was found in the pocket of a man brought here for burial. There is something familiar about it, but just what I cannot say. Perhaps if I tinker with the device, it will come to me. However, I lack the proper tools to do so. I would ask that you journey to Camp Drybone in my stead to obtain a bullpoint chisel and a pair of needle nose pincers. They are often used by goldsmiths, so perhaps they would be the best people to ask. Of course, I do not expect you to foot the bill. Here, take this current coin purse. That should cover it.
This game needs more broccoli. Our broccoli just got kicked into the Shadow Realm. We didn't take good enough care of our broccoli. A bull point chisel, you say, and a pair of needle nose pincers. Those things don't come cheap, you know. Dowels, balls. I mean, yes, that should be sufficient payment. Who <laughs> says that? Is it not? Do we just give them, like, way more money than required? Nice doing business with you. Hey, hey. That was the entire quest. I think this is, like, supposed to be planning in our mind that our boy is, like, rich. I guess. Is it annoying to everyone, anyone else how long the sprint cooldown is? Why is it so long? Have you brought the tools I requested? That's not going to make the cooldown go down if I do more cardio. I can see why everyone just mounts, because the sprint takes forever to come back. But like, think about any other game. You like sprint to your stamina is gone, and then the stamina comes back in like three seconds. This takes 60 seconds for the sprint to come back. It's like, why is it so long? Could it not have been 30 seconds? Hmm, something occurs to me. Please wait here for a moment. I mean, I haven't really seen if it's like it, it might be because it's useful in battle so i think you can sprint in battle right so it's probably like so you can't spam it in battle to dodge things but yeah it could just like in towns you could at least have it be infinite or something wait it's a less of a cooldown in battle now i'm even more confused <laughs> It was for naught. Though I repaired the device easily, the sensation that stirs within me remains a mystery. But how? How did I do it? These hands. My hands. They moved with a mind of their own, deftly manipulating the clockwork mechanisms. There was no doubt of uncertainty. I knew exactly what to do, as though I had performed the same motions countless times before. Pardon me, Petra. This was a mistake. Please give the horologe to Sister Elune. Aluned? Ned? The man who once owned it is currently in her care, and I think it's best that it be returned to him. What are we doing and why? What? My entire group is dead? Why do we care about this again? I thought that it was like a... I, I thought that it was... Oh my god, it's the guy that I've been memeing about this entire time. Wait, that's not the guy! He was supposed to be in your care! You let him die. Uh, I thought that it was one of the guys that we brought from the Shion. Like one of the dead guys had this on him and we were trying to fix it to figure out a clue on how to catch the Garleans. This is just some random thing that he is having me do. Two seconds after I'm like, yeah, everyone I know died. And he's like, okay, well, I have this watch that I need fixed. What the heck? Good morrow to you, madame. Have you come to pay your respects to this man? Never before have I seen such a queer device. You say that it measures the passing of time. Mayhap they are more common in Garlemod. I am given to understand that its cities are filled with all manner of amazing technologies. Marquis says that it belonged to the deceased. Oh dear, you don't suppose that the owner might have been a Garlean spy? It may behoove us to notify the authorities in Camp Drybo. But mayhap more importantly, how did Marquis manage to repair this device? I knew he had a talent for the trades, but this goes far beyond mending fences and thatching roofs.
I don't know. Maybe it's just cool like that. I recognize you now, Petra. Allow me to express my deepest condolences for those who lost their lives in the attack. I apologize if discussing this upsets you, but you should know that the bodies of your comrades are presently being removed from the waking sands and prepared for transport here. If you wish to leave this work to others, I understand. However, taking part might help you find closure. That's a horrible idea. Let's do it. We fetching, we questing. Dude. Yeah, that's kind of the feeling I'm getting as well. Like, what's here is good, but the pacing is a bit odd. And like, at the start, it made sense. So like, pretty much every MMO ever, I think, has bad pacing at the start because it needs to introduce you to just the MMO world in general and how to interact and where to go and what's good and you know what I mean like it's just the the barrier to entry in an MMO is so much greater than any other game that you're gonna have like slow pacing at the start no matter what but now that we've gotten past that I feel like it's safe to say that like the pacing could have been a lot better here but I think that's probably where the DLCs or the expansions really shine is that they're smaller, which I don't even know if they're smaller. I've heard they're like massive, but they can kind of like just directly focus on one thing and work on the pacing versus this being such a massive adventure that like it gets bogged down by random things. They probably saw what Realm Reborn became and and use that for the expansions to like make them more streamlined. Which is good that they learned from their mistakes. Eh? You don't look like one of them church fellas. Not that I'll turn you away, no sir. As you can see, we've got a pile of unidentified bodies over yonder. No one's come to claim them, so off to the lich yard they go. Be thankful you didn't have to go inside and see the carnage for yourself. Twas the stuff of nightmares, I tell ye. God's dangs and imperials. I don't know what quarrel they had with these folks, so I sure as hells don't want to know. The sooner we put this behind us, the better. Say, ain't you, I seen you around here before? Or do you just have one of them faces? Ah, never mind. Any road, there's a carriage come to haul the bodies to the lich yard out by the east gate. There's only eight left to load up, but seeing as though I'm exhausted and carrying all the others, I have a mind to leave the remainder to you. I want to cover your nose while you work. Some of these folks will start to turn. Starting to turn. Wow. What a guy. We're literally just picking up dead bot. This is the quest? This is the greatest quest of all time. <laughs> I I mean I, I truly truly have never experienced a greater quest than this in any video game. Press X on dead comrade. <laughs> God. What happened to the big fella? Ah, forget it. Just bring the next batch and toss them back in the back. Ain't like they'll complain if you're rough. Ain't like they'll complain if you're rough. What are we... What are we... T what are we doing? Well, ain't you a strong one. Four in one trip. Reckon there's no need for me to lend you a hand with the rest then. I have to go back and get the... You're not serious. Who designed this quest? 
Who? Who did it? I want names. I want the name of the person that designed this quest. <laughs> Was it Craig? Come on, come on, let's finish this before I die of old age. Actually, wow, I like how Noraxia got their own, got her own, uh, item. How you are able to fit this stiff scion of the seventh dawn corpse into your bag is a mystery best left unsolved. That should be all of them, thanks for the help. Reckon it won't take too long to deliver all the corpses to the lich yard. Even so, you might want to hurry back and tell them that our work here is done. Oh my god, they just stat- That was the entire quest. That was- that was the quest. What did I, what? Listen, I get the reference, but how are we gonna have all of the people we know and love die? And then the literal next quest is a goofy quest where we have to just press X on their dead bodies. This is like the, the, uh, the pre, the press F to pay tribute or whatever meme, press X to pay respects meme, but times like a hundred, like way goofier than that. Like they put in a press X to pay respects. And everyone memed that to oblivion because of how ridiculous it is. This is that times ten. This is that, that, but so much worse. I see that you decided to heed my advice. I pray that in doing so you found some small measure of peace. I did not. The first carriage from Vesper Bay arrived not long ago, and we have begun preparing your comrades for the burial. I have a hand in the initial rites, and I would like you to know that for many, death came quickly. Rest assured that we will treat them with the utmost respect and do everything we can to shepherd them to Thal's realm. Okay, well, okay. I'm glad their death came quickly, but can we have the guys that are transferring their bodies pay a little bit more respect and not literally make dead jokes to the person that just watched them die? Like, what? What kind of show are you running around here? Although we can perform rites for most of the Xi'ans, there is one whom we cannot accept. We would like you to return this one to her people, the Sylphs of Little Solace. Am I really going to carry your dead body all the way there? It is only proper that she is given into the care of the friends and family so that they may mourn her in accordance with Sylphic traditions. Well, that's nice of you. She just gives me her body. Hey, could you take this? Thanks. Take your dead cabbage back. We don't bury cabbage around here. Giant gnat. I think my chocobo is really fast here. Holy cow, dude. Oh god, I'm having that issue yet. Maybe it's just this area. Maybe it's this area that just struggles, man. Every time I'm here... 
This one is surprised to see Walking One and Little Solace. How can these ones assist Walking One? Hey, here's your dead friend. Neuroxia! But this one does not understand. Comuxio, this one has heard much wailing. This one would know what has caused such distress. Terrible news, Elder One. Awful news. Walking One has returned to Little Solace, but why? These ones have not requested further aid. Neuroxia, how did this happen? Explain everything to this one at once. So, not only Neuroxia, but many of Walking One's friends were lost as well. Neuroxia. Neuroxia went to Thanaland to the behest of this one. Walking One was with Neuroxia at the end. Tell this one that Neuroxia was brave. Tell this one that Neuroxia did not suffer. This one is glad to hear Walking One's words. Thank you for bringing Neuroxia home, Walking One. These ones also wish to thank Praying Ones. Tell Praying Ones that these ones will remember this kindness. This one demands vengeance! Imperial Ones must pay! Imperial Ones must suffer! When the time comes for Walking Ones to face Imperial foes, do not forget these ones. These ones would not have Neuroxia's death be for naught. These ones will fight. That's kind of epic. Cool to see that the first time we met these guys, they were like, we hate you. And now they're like, we will fight to the death to avenge our comrade. Well, get me out of this lag fest. <laughs> imagine, imagine if you had to put the dead body in a wheelbarrow and like cart it all the way across. <laughs> cart it all the way there. And everyone just could watch you while you do it. Everyone that saw you were like, oh, they're doing that quest. Then they could press X to pay their respects. Like, if you see someone doing that quest, you can walk up to them and press X and your character does, like, a salute or something. Then they could have actually made the press X to pay respects a real thing. They could have brought the meme to life. We thank you for your service to the church and to the sylphs. You may be pleased to know that, in your absence, we interred the remaining Sions in the Lichyard. Perhaps you still wish to do more for your friends. If so, I would remind you that you have already done so much on their behalf. Please take a rest and set aside your burdens for now, Petra. Also, take these spectacles for no reason at all. There's a pay respects emote. I mean, I gotta see that. Is it like... How do I get to the emotes? That didn't work. Oh, just respect. Oh, there it is. Why didn't it come up when I said pay? Beautiful. Where am I going? <laughs> Pay disrespects and be like spit on. Two. I uh, I'm not imagining it, Petra. I know I'm being watched. This is different, sinister. It is as if I am under observation. That person's on fire. The feeling comes and goes. Well, I, I felt it when last I ventured outside. Yes. I know I felt it. Will you look outside for me? Please. It will only take a moment. There's no one out here. You're crazy. There's no one watching you. Why would there be someone watching you? Parkour. Parkour.
Oh my god. I stun ya, and then I demolish the behind. And that's why you don't mess with Petra Snake Boat. Hey. That's why you don't mess with Petra Snake Boat. attacked weren't you are you unharmed thank the gods i knew it he was watching me but why was he watching me what did he want with me did he perhaps know something of my past if only i could have asked him i i need to think please allow me a moment alone wait father iluid must hear of this will you tell him for me it is important i think others may come for me again hey marquis just turn around just be like hey iluid i he they attacked petra that's all you have to do He's right there. Literally right here. Heavens for offend that such a thing should happen on holy ground. Do you have any idea who this man was? Did you notice anything distinctive about his garb or possessions? Uh, he was very obviously imperial. This, this is Garlean steel, which means the man who was watching Marquis was... That we already knew that from his armor. In case the camp dry bone at once, we must summon the immortal flames before more imperials come. But first, take these boots. Interesting time for you to arrive. Hmm. I fondly hope that I might be the first to speak with you. Would that I had been so fortunate. At ease, adventurer. I come not on behalf of the Empire. On the contrary, I mean to revive the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And to that end... I have come in search of a legend. The greatest engineer of our time, Master Sid Garland. I have come for you. Oh my god, it's Sid Garland? I fear you are mistaken, child. He is but a poor soul who bore witness to the horrors at Cartano. I beg of you, leave us in peace. Wait, I... <sighs> Hear me, Sid. Eorzea needs you. Get the tea. of greatness. It seems that I was right. Our time together was all too brief, but it felt as though my son had returned to me. You have brought joy to an old man's life. What is this voice act? <laughs> but it is time for you to help those who truly need you. Sounds like a... 18-year-old pretending to be an old man. But it is time for you to go off on your own path. <laughs> Who are you? Alfino Leveilleux, at your service. As a scion of the Seventh Dawn, I stand against our primal and imperial foes. 
as my grandfather once did. Tis no secret what befell our order at the Waking Sands. Word has already spread across Eorzea. The repercussions are far greater than you realize. In the wake of the Calamity, the three city-states focused their efforts solely on reconstruction, leaving the Scions to combat the primal threat unaided. Brother, I, I, I'm the one that's been doing that this entire time. I don't know why you're telling me I don't know. Of course I know. I had to fight and Titan alone. alone. We are all but destroyed. Yet even as the nations mourn our demise and abandon what little hope they have left, we cannot forsake our duty, now least of all. Then why am I the only one fighting the Titan? The Ixal have summoned Garuda once more, and she torments the people of Kurthus as we speak. Her appetite for destruction far exceeds that of other primals. Worse, in her present incarnation, our Baldessian colleagues believe she surpasses both Ifrit and Titan in strength. Yet, therein lies an opportunity. Were we somehow to defeat Garuda, it would serve as a warning to the other beast tribes that even their mightiest gods can be felled. No, I'm saying, like, he came up and was like, listen, the fact that the Scions are dead is even worse than you think. Because the Scions were the only ones fighting the Primals. And he's saying that to the one that literally fought both the Primals alone. <laughs> like, of course we know. <laughs> That's us. If we are to face our foe, we must first circumvent the Tempest that shields her sanctuary. And for that, we need an airship. Your airship, Sid. You're telling me Sid actually I, has something to do with the airship? I have an airship? <laughs> I have an airship? Sid actually yes, has something to do Sid, with airships in this game. Let's go. Your very own airship. It was last seen in the skies over Gridania, not long before the Calamity. So let us begin our search there. An, an airship? Uh, my airship? Oh, wait. <laughs> yes. Come, let us put an end to the primals. Together, we will show the world that the Scions are still a force to be reckoned with. I like the look of him, but I hope he gets his memory back or something. They need my airship. They need me. Because, like, the whole thing with Sid is he's always like boastful and you know epic but he's just like lame because he doesn't have his memory but maybe when he gets his memory back he becomes true Sid and it'll be cool what a curious twist of fate that Master Sid Garland would at last be found within our church it defies imagination beg your pardon Petra you wish to find the airship his airship, yes. I know now, not know how much truth there is to it, but there is a tale known as the Final Flight of the Enterprise, which grew popular in the wake of the Calamity. Much like the Great Gabu Wall of Olda, it states that the Enterprise flew northwest from Gradania towards Corthus. If true, the airship would have passed through the North Shroud, likely over Fulgord Float, the closest settlement to Corthus. Mayhap, the Serpent stationed there have records of the events that transpired that day. I had hoped you might rest for your journeys from your journeys for a time, but I see that the world still has need of you and the Scions. Pray look after yourself and Sid, Petra. My people need me. Alrighty, 
yeah, fall guard float. Nice. You grew up with far worse voice acting? Well, to be fair, everything was... In terms of that, were worse back then. Hey, you know what I find funny? So, like, back in the day, video game voice acting wasn't really a job. So, very rarely you'd get somebody that was, like... To be considered, like, an expert in the field. Instead, it would, a lot of times, just be whoever they decided to get to do it in the, the team, you know? You get, like, a lot of people in the actual development team that would just be like, hey, who wants to do voice acting, right? And then, as time went on, and video games became more of an art form in terms of, like, getting music created just for them and getting, uh, you know, a lot more outside artistic experts to be a part of the game building experience and not just the developers of the game, you started getting voice actors. But still, at the time, there weren't really, like, dedicated video game voice actors because the industry wasn't big enough yet or just, you know, like pigeonholing yourself into only being a video game voice actor was not a good idea, right? So instead of, you know, they didn't want people on the development team doing the voice acting because at that point people expected better voice acting, but there weren't specific people to hire to just do video game voice acting. So they got celebrities to do it. So then you had that funny middle ground between like early PS3, late PS2, where a bunch of games had celebrity voice actors. So you had crap like uh, the Spyro game, the Spyro reboot, having, uh, what's his name, Lord of the Rings guy doing Spyro and, and stuff like that. And um, freaking David Spade doing uh, Sparks. And that was even worse, in my opinion. Like, somehow, they were even worse at voice acting characters most of the time. I mean, some of them did a good job, but for the most part, they were even worse than the developer. Because at least the developers were, like, passionate about the project, whereas, like, the celebrities would normally phone it in. So then you just got really bad celebrity voice acting for a while. <laughs> so it kind of went up and down. It didn't necessarily just get better over time. And now, today, we have... We, we still don't necessarily have, like, specific people that legitimately only do video game voice acting. But you have voice acting talent that do, like, anime, movies, and video games all together. And then you have celebrities that put as much passion into the games as they do, like, animated movies. Uh, sometimes you even have... Nowadays, you have celebrities in the games that do their own voice acting, but also acting... And, or you have um, people like uh, Nolan North doing every single character on the planet, but then also doing motion capture and being like the character as well as the voice actor. So we d I think we definitely have the best of both worlds now, but I just find it funny that like what started as let's just have the developers do it became like let's hire celebrities, but then they uh, in a lot of ways were even worse. <laughs> so... It's funny.